This is the first in a series of videos to show you how we are adjusting our trading systems for volatility. Here's one of our favorite strategies, tick count trend. You can see all the trades it's taking. Some of the orders have actually had a tough time getting filled because the market has moved so fast. We use limit orders and even a limit at the close on the E-mini NASDAQ. Can, it can move so fast by the time it's there that it can be out of the band of your order and you can get a rejected order. And so uh, volatility can bring these things out. And so we're making some adjustments. We're requiring, there's two requirements on this that I'm, that I'm adding to it. The first one is, is that I'm requiring that there to be um, a greater deviation in the entry price. And so you can see here, um, the first one is greater deviation in the entry price. If once the conditions are met for a long signal and the price, you want the price to move much lower uh, to get in and then you get in at the market instead of placing a limit order at a price as it's moving down and try to fill that limit order as it's moving down we wait for the market to move to that on a closed bar basis and then we execute a limit order to buy and for shorts instead of placing a limit order above and as the market rises trying to hit that limit order before it wiggles and moves out of its bounds we just when the when the when the bar closes above that limit order, say here's a bar, open, low, high, close, and here is the, the uh, price that we want. Um, if it's above that, then we place a market order to go short. So we're already above that. And so it improves our average trade profit, it improves our selectivity, and so greater deviation from price number two is we, after the first entry, we wait 30 bars or in this case 30 minutes before the next entry and so you're not going to see a bunch of exits and re-entries, exits and re-entries in this fast market and so uh, it's a much more efficient approach these are the trades on the day so far for this tick count trend strategy you see some some profitable days here um, but just too fast we don't want to trade this fast we want to slow it down a little bit it's not the intent for this this uh, system to trade this fast this many trades at once and so slowing it down and I'm going to show you what that looks like in the new setup so these are the two main things that we are changing and what you'll notice is, is we're not re-optimizing we're not uh, you know changing the strategy we're just trying to uh, adjust for volatility and slow it down a little bit the rules the core rules are still the same so I'm going to show you what that looks like now in the new setup so you can see the trades today so far. There have been uh, three winners and one loser. You know, the profit today is about the same, but the trades are spread out. You can see the entry prices are better, and we're using market orders when there's an extreme up close for shorts and extreme down close for longs. And so we found that to work better in this market environment. You see some other trades. There's less trades on the screen. You don't see a cluster of trades entering and re-entering, just getting caught up in the volatility of the moment. And so here is some recent performance uh, going back. I keep these charts about seven months back. And so here's some recent performance. Fewer trades, nice average trade profit. This is with slippage and commission. And here is the equity curve. So that's for the E-mini NASDAQ. And, you know, the, the, the order book is pretty thin right now. So you'll get a standard deviation of slippage. You're going to get uh, some really good fills and some really bad fills with this type of setup. So I anticipate the average... Um, slippage to remain the same with greater standard deviation. So that is tick count trend two and one of the updates that we are doing to adjust for the new volatility in the market and historically this works well also. It works, um, it, it improves the strategy historically as well. So that is tick count trend two, uh, not tick count trend two, it's tick count trend NQ 2020 to replace tick count trend NQ.